In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the first option where you can see here I've added the icon, the title and the detailed text. And you can see here I've used some different color combinations. So when I click on the second option, it comes with a different color combination. Then third one and the fourth one. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light color background then go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes, I'm going to choose a object call or the shape called trapezoid, draw or trapezoid, something like this. And then I'm going to rotate it, go to the rotate and choose the option which is rotate right 90 degrees. And you can see here, you can just adjust your height from this one. You can see from the one end only. All right, so make sure that it is center aligned. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make this the right side. The corner should be more curvy and here it should be pointed only. So for that, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose a rounded corner rectangle, draw a small rounded corner rectangle, select both the shapes, right mouse click, go to the format object and increase the transparency level. So exactly, you know what I'm what, how much uh, we are going to put it. Sorry press ctrl z select only this option and then move it here and bring it down all right you can see here it is more kind of a curvy effect we are giving here let me just put it a little bit down yeah so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one go to the shape format merge shape and i'm going to make it union so you can see here it becomes a curve a corner here okay the rounded corner you can better call it so here it is a pointed corner itself okay so once this is done i'm going to make the transparency again to zero percent and then go to the insert shapes select the line draw a small line vertical line here all right by holding the shift key then shape outline you can just give a black color and shape sorry the line weight i'm going to give a two quarters and then go to the line here you can see a begin arrow type i'm going to choose the oval shape and begin arrow size the largest size and here the end arrow also i'm going to choose the this one which is the oval shape and then the end arrow size also is the biggest one all right once this is done send this to back so it looks something like this let me just go to view and remove the guides so you can see here the shape looks something like this and then move this here a little bit on top of this okay and this color, I'm going to give very light color for this, okay? You can just choose any light colors. I'm just going to use a kind of a light color here, all right? And then you can just give any color of your choice for the outline, okay? So you can just go to the shapes and you can just give shape outline, any outline, different color here, okay? And then I'm going to increase the weight as well, which is the two quarters, all right? So once this is done, I'm going to insert two these triangles, okay, draw a small triangle, shape outline, keep it the same color, no problem, or you can just choose this color and even the same weight I'm going to take, which is the two quarters, and shape fill, I'm going to give an orange color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it. Rotate, either you can rotate it with the help of this you can see here this circular arrow as well so now what i'm going to do is let me just rotate it properly you can see here and align it properly and then send this to back so it looks something like this all right so now the same thing i'm going to hold the control shift key bring it down and send this to back so it looks something like this our option and this uh, this line i'm just going to increase the size okay yeah this size is perfect so you can see here we have our one option design is ready now it's time to insert some uh, the icons and some detailed text so go to the insert icons here i'm going to choose the icon which is 
any icon random icon i'm i'm selecting from this one but when you are creating the slides or presenting it make sure that you choose the right uh, icons okay so this particular option i'm going to select click insert the, the icon got inserted here i can reduce the size from here also maybe 0.6 i'm going to make it and one more thing i'm going to do is i'm going to insert one rounded rectangle draw a small rounded rectangle here okay and give the same color shape outline make it no outline and bring this one on top of this so first of all bring to front and put it exactly on top and then the color graphic fill i'm going to choose this white color so it looks something like this you can see here then go to insert text box here i'm going to add title here you have to put your title center align i'm going to use the font which is open sans extra bold all right and again which color you want to choose i can choose the same color here again it depends on your requirement if you want to choose the same color or if you want to give some different color to the font then go to insert text box and here equals and low rem within brackets one i don't want this much large text so i'm going to cut it delete it reduce the font size maybe 12 and put it exactly in the center we are good to go now so let me just select all the objects press ctrl g to group it and hold the ctrl shift key and drag it one towards the right now select both the options uh, hold the ctrl shift key drag it towards the right side okay so now let me just select all the objects make sure that it should fit within the slide okay so now you can see here our design is ready so now it's very easy for me i can just choose this one and give any color of my choice so let me just go here and i'm going to give maybe a green color here here also i'm going to give green you can press f4 key also it will rotate and here also you can just give the green color and then coming to coming to this i'm going to give a maybe kind of a blue here also blue and here also blue now again depending on the requirement maybe i'm going to choose purple here this is also purple f4 repeat here also select f4 repeat done so you can see here we have completed the design and if you want you can just give some different icons here okay this icon you can go to the graphic format change graphics from icons and you can just choose any icon of your choice once again from the list i'm going to choose the apple click insert so that in the uh, icon got inserted here right so now the next thing is uh, we need to do a uh, animation effect for this one so let me just move this a little bit towards the left side all right now what we need to do is first of all we have to select all these objects and ungroup to ungroup you have to uh, press the key which is control shift and g okay control shift and g now it's ungroup what we need to do group is these objects only these objects we need to group it only this okay press control g so you can see here only this object got grouped so here also i'm going to choose press control g make sure you should not select this or, or this okay so now i'm going to choose this one press control g highlight this and press ctrl g to group it so go to the animations enable the animation pane and first of all i'm going to choose this one add animation more entrance effects i'm going to set the stretch stretch make it from right so it comes something like this and then this option i'm going to choose select both these triangles add animation the same animation i'm going to use which is stretch click ok the stretch should happen from the left and this should happen after previous okay so if i play it comes something like this so now it's easy for me i'm going to select this one click on animation painter select here now select this and this as well you can see here so now again copy this paste it here all right so now the last one 
So I think the animation is not copied here right, properly, I believe. So this one, it has to go up. All right. So now for this, and copy this here. So let's play the slideshow mode. Sorry, the line also got uh, selected here. Okay, that we need to correct it. You can see here. All right, so here also we have to do a little bit changes, which is after previous. All right. And this one also we need to remove it actually. We have to remove this. Yeah, so now let me just play once again. So this is the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. Because the animation got changed here, that's the reason it is uh, showing in a different way. All right. So that needs to be corrected again. This one after previous. Let me just, I hope this should be correct now. One, two, three and four this is correct all right